Hey, what up, y'all? It's your boy John Murray for Essence All Access, and I'm hanging here with my man Brian Courtney Wilson. How you feeling, brother? Man, I'm real good, John. Now, how many Essences is this for you now? I want to say this is the fourth one I've done, actually, yeah. Does it get better every year? For me, it is. I always enjoy coming. It's a, a celebration of what's black and beautiful in our community, and the music is like the soundtrack for that. And it, you know, it's, it's really cool to see people you admire like yourself come, kick back, relax, have a good time so you can go back and do what you got to do every day. I think what I like to see, man, is, you know, oftentimes people think um, the faith-based, the gospel artists, you know, they, it's like a country club. You stay in your little corner. We don't, you know, you know, all we do is go to church. And um, so seeing you out appreciate, appreciating the other artists and enjoying the other shows, why is that important to you, man? Oh, man, because uh, it's good things are from God, period. I don't care what kind of label you try to put on it. And so when you get to see a master like Maxwell on stage, like I did last night, I saw, I saw Babyface run around the Superdome with his shirt off. You just, you don't see that every day. And it was kind of like a revival <laughs> moment. Like you felt like he was at a quartet concert. He went to church a few times in that concert. New Edition was there doing their thing. And it was, you know, man, everybody was on one accord singing these songs that are not just good because of the songs, but good because of the memories that they bring back for people. And so I just, I love being a part of that, our community. Essence as a mantra is uh, about female empowerment and the empowerment of family. Um, you had a number one single recently, uh, We're Fighting For, which was about the empowerment of people and, and particularly fathers and sons and, and things along that line. Why was it important for you to convey a message like that in song? Man, um, one of the things I prayed for was like a song that was useful to the church. And I know that's just something that we all contend for every day, making sure that we can provide for our families, making sure our sons and our daughters know their worth and value and uh, don't settle for anything less than what God has for them. And so when I was singing the song, man, I really was just trying to be true to what was in my heart. And I'm blown away by how it has resonated with other people uh, outside the church even, you know. So uh, to answer your question, I think, because I can't really remember the question now. I just started talking no, about the song. You, you, you answered okay. it. Uh, uh, best first time encounter you've had this year at Essence so far? Somebody who you haven't met before. Oh, that's a good question. Best first time encounter. Probably Ron Rico Lee. He's on that show, Survivor's Remorse, mm -hmm. that I think is brilliant. And uh, getting a chance to talk to him, find out he's a gospel fan, and, and uh, I invited him out to the Empire. His wife was the stylist on Sunday Best. I did not know that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, man. He's uh I just I've I've enjoyed him for a long time since T and Tamara. And so to see him now on that show and what that show is saying to our community and the insight it's bringing, I think it's a great show. And Sunday you're hitting the empowerment stage uh, as part of the Clark Sisters tribute uh, celebration. Talk about the importance of the Clark Sisters and what they mean to you. Incredible, man. Like when I was growing up in Chicago, we I knew it was Sunday because the R&B station would play gospel music. You'd hear Shirley Caesar, you'd hear the Winans, you'd hear the Clark Sisters. And so to now meet them uh, while we're out and about, you know, doing what we do, and to experience their kindness, uh, Dorinda, Dorinda Clark Cole in particular has had me on her show and asked me several times to sing my song, encouraged me along the way. It's a beautiful thing to be able to return the favor tomorrow and, and prayerfully honor them in a way that they, they will enjoy because they are the goats, you know, of, of, of singing like that. So uh, it's, it's an honor for me. Before I let you go, I gotta ask you: Any chance am I gonna get this duets record with you and Yolanda Adams? Because I, I swear, oh, I swear, you guys are the the, the new BB and CC. I want to do it real bad, man. I'd love to do that. That was a great time we had with the, the BMI Awards, man. Singing, uh, singing that addictive love. So, who knows? You know, Yolanda the Queen. So we'll see. That's that'd probably be her call. <laughs> it's John Murray, and I'm hanging out with Brian Courtney Wilson at Essence All Access.